You know, there's some debate as to whether you could call May hot in East Texas. Well, I think the data speaks for itself. Several days where we were near record temperatures, a few where I think we actually set record temperatures, and then there's this. 29 out of 31 days in May were warmer than average, putting the month 5.5 degrees above average overall. So that definitely takes us into a May that was hot, 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 and a May that was dry as well. And the drought conditions have returned to East Texas everywhere in this tan color under a moderate drought. The yellow area is reporting abnormally dry conditions. Tyler was down 2.28 inches so far on the year, down 3.85 for the month of May. Longview was down over four inches for the month of May and plenty of the state of Texas still dealing with drought conditions as well, just starting to spread into East Texas. But of course, the more severe drought still continues for the Texas panhandle. As far as this morning goes, those temperatures are on the warm side starting out there. A few of the passing clouds, but for the most part, staying sunny at the moment this hour, 74 for your temperature. Most of East Texas waking up in the mid 70s out there. 75 Longview, 75 in Henderson, 76 Emory, 77 Sulphur Springs and Lufkin at 74. The dew points also hanging around the mid 70s out there and that means when we hit those high temperatures this afternoon, which will once again be in the mid to upper 90s, 97 the forecast for Tyler, those feels like temperatures are going to be even worse, especially if this dew point forecast or these dew points stay around the 70s for much of the day. A little bit of relief in the afternoon. It looks like the forecast showing a little bit of a drop, but it's not by much. The feels like temperatures once again will be triple digits across the northern counties for today, and that pattern repeats itself for the southern counties with triple digit feels like temperatures expected at some point this afternoon. Now your satellite radar is quiet across East Texas. The closest rain over parts of Arkansas, and that's breaking up at this hour, not expected to impact us. The satellite picture does show you can see some of those thin clouds very barely here. They're going to start to stream into East Texas over the morning hours, but they should burn off by the afternoon. Our next weather maker still out over parts of Wyoming with that front stretched back out through Nevada. Now, as far as the future skycast goes, you see those clouds around this morning. They do burn off by the afternoon temperatures getting back into the mid 90s yet again. Heading into tonight, I think we should stay mostly clear. Maybe some clouds for the southern counties, sort of the same pattern we had for the past couple of days, but most of your Saturday going to be sunny and those temperatures are going to climb up up into the upper 90s, but then by Saturday afternoon evening, we'll watch this front start to push through. It's a weak front, but it could spark off a few showers and storms across East Texas. They should wrap up by early Sunday at the latest, and then Sunday going to be another dry and warm day, but at least it should be a little bit less humid. The bad news, especially considering those drought conditions, not expected to pick up much rainfall out of this, and the rainfall we do see will be pretty hit and miss across the region. Forecast for the rest of the day, mostly sunny, 97, some clouds early for tonight, mostly clear, 75, staying warm and muggy the next seven days here. Shows those few rain chances over the weekend, less humid for Sunday and Monday, but the heat and humidity returns along with some small rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, and then next week looking to be just about as hot and muggy as this one.